So this isn't just any old bike. This is in fact an old Royal Mail bike you may have seen delivering post in the UK 20 years ago. And they were designed and built in Britain by Pashley to be indestructible workhorses, meaning they're extremely heavy and very slow. However, as you're about to see, they don't have to stay that way. So it's this tube and this tube that still have water in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill two more holes which should help the water come out a lot better than these holes here. So I've found the smallest drill tip I have and I'm gonna start with that. And it sounds like there's no water left inside.
last night I ran out of the 2K primer which I'd been spraying onto the frame and the forks and I went to the corner DIY shop and bought some Hammerite. It's kind of worked, it's shiny, it seems pretty hard, but I just don't think that it's gonna accept the next color coat. So what I'm gonna do is paint strip that, prime it, and then color it. Don't make the same mistake I did, buy enough primer, and I highly recommend this stuff. It's meant to be light green. So this is after one coat of 2K lacquer, this stuff. And to make it extra shiny and hard wearing, I'm gonna rub it down the 800 grit and then apply one more coat of the same lacquer. So in this box is the switch kit, which in essence is a motorized front wheel that can turn any bike into an e-bike. And this other wheel is an original Sturmey Archer three speed hub brake, which would have been on the bike when it was made and unfortunately is in pretty bad condition. So first of all, I'm gonna see if I can take it apart, give it a good clean and regrease it without losing any of the bits.
that is as far as I'm properly competent to go. So this brake is really similar to what we saw in the Land Rover last year. As you pull on the brake, it, it pushes these pads out against the internal rim. So the switch kit installation is pretty self-explanatory. You get a new motorized front wheel that you connect to a handlebar mounted battery pack and then use either a pedal sensor or a throttle like I've done to control the power. This is the pro version which should give you up to 50 kilometers range and it takes about two to three hours to charge. All in all, you can probably put the entire kit on your bike in just under an hour.
So I've been using this bike for about two weeks now and I cannot overstate how much I'm enjoying it. The full disclosure is that Switch provided this kit for free but they had no input in what I would do with it or what I would say. And my honest to god opinion is that it's changed the way I look at travelling within a city. It's by far the quickest and most enjoyable way to get around. So if you have a bike that's a little heavy for you or you just want to make cycling a lot easier then this is the solution. And if you want to get one of these kits for yourself with a huge 50% discount, you can click the link in the video description and sign up to their waiting list. But thanks very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button. It really helps me approach brands with interesting concepts like this. Hopefully see you next time.